Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be telling you everything you need to know about GoodNotes 5 as a PDF editor. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Thanks to multitasking in iPadOS, now you don't need to purchase a PDF reader if you're already using GoodNotes 5. Multiple instances mean you can now have your notebook on one side and your PDF on the other side. If you like having multiple textbooks open, the tabs feature in GoodNotes 5 will be perfect for you as well because this allows you to open multiple textbooks all at the same time. Now let's look at how GoodNotes 5 works with PDFs. First of all, you can view your pages as thumbnails, you can view your favorite pages or your outlines. Some PDF books come with outlines already, but others don't have one. Instead of you trying to navigate through all those pages every single time you want to read your PDF, if it doesn't have an outline, you can just create one in GoodNotes 5. There are two ways you can do this. The first method is with your thumbnail pages. All your page thumbnails have this arrow here. Just tap on it and add to outline. The second way to do this is if you're already reading your PDF, simply tap these three dots here and add to outline. You then get to name your page, something you'll remember naturally. And now your page is part of the outline. Back to your thumbnails, you can add pages before or after a certain page. It could be an image, a scan, a photo, or you can import a document through the files app. You can choose to export a page or open it in another window. So if you want to compare two sections of the same PDF, this can be very handy. You can delete the page as well. You can select pages for copying, rotating, exporting, and deleting. GoodNotes 5 supports hyperlinks. If you have any hyperlinks in your PDF, you can tap on them after deactivating the inking tool in the application. I find this really handy because it means you don't accidentally keep activating hyperlinks while writing on your PDFs. Something that's really important if you are big on planning and if you use planners a lot, you will really appreciate this feature. GoodNotes 5 can also create hyperlinks by creating outlines for your PDFs. To make sure your hyperlinks in your documents are not deactivated, export your PDF as an editable PDF file. To demonstrate this, I will export this PDF file to Notability and I will show you guys that the hyperlinks are still working after I exported this file as an editable PDF. I have also exported the same document out of GoodNotes 5, still editable, to Margin Note 3 so that I can demonstrate that the outline of this document is still active and so are all the hyperlinks in the document. This is a really, really cool and useful feature. If you export your PDF as a flattened PDF, your hyperlinks and your outlines are both deactivated as demonstrated with this PDF file that I exported as a flattened PDF. It neither has active hyperlinks nor the outlines that are in the textbook. The application allows you to exclude your annotations when exporting if you want to share a clean PDF with other people. This is probably the best way to do it. For annotations, the application uses all the tools you get in the application for note-taking. If you've not seen my review of GoodNotes 5, I will link that in the description down below. This is very good because handwriting in GoodNotes 5 is great and if you can use it for annotating textbooks, why not? GoodNotes 5 offers one of the most natural annotations you can get on your iPad. It resembles annotating physical textbooks. A lot of us will find this very familiar. At any point during your annotation, you can insert pages into your PDF. You can choose to insert a page after or before the selected one. You can rotate the page you're currently working on. You can copy it and then you can clear all the annotations that are on that page. And that brings me to the end of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Let me know what you guys think about GoodNotes 5 as a PDF annotating application. If you're using GoodNotes, are you also using it to annotate your PDFs? Do you think this multiple instance feature is going to make you use GoodNotes more for annotating your PDFs than it did before? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.